Guys, we are here at the Gina Nelson Watch Party. Now, Gina Nelson was named the Oklahoma 2020 Teacher of the Year, and now two years later, she is looking to secede Governor Candidate Joy Hoffmeister as the next state superintendent of public instruction. Now, here at the Watch Party, things are just getting set up. It looks like Gina Nelson will have the opportunity to make a few remarks. People are slowly starting to flood in. Um, we have seen a lot of I Voted stickers, which isn't surprising considering this is a very big election. People care about education, and they're really wondering what Gina Nelson could possibly bring to the table if she is elected the next state superintendent. Stay up to date here with us on Youth Central. Um, we'll be in and out all night. We'll be here all night, but for now, back to you guys at the desk. We are still awaiting coverage here at the Gina Nelson Watch Party. Now, outside, we have gotten word that there are a couple of teachers in attendance, which is no surprise as this is a teacher versus teacher race. Ryan Walters has been an educator for over eight years and Gina Nelson has been an educator for over 17 years. So it's no doubt that teachers are affected by tonight's election results. Now inside, people have since been uh, seated, they're eating, and there's been stickers passed out. And just over here in conversation, there's a very anxious excitement in the air as people await for Gina to arrive and outline her plans for Oklahoma. Um, just in the attendance and that we've seen, we can tell that she has a very strong backbone and a very good uh, supportive community underneath her in this race. And we're hoping to grab one of the supporters and ask her or him a few questions. Um, but for now, back to you guys at the desk is actually at Gina Nelson's watch party in Oklahoma City. Eden, what do you have for us? All right, we are still here at the Embassy Hotel where Gina Nelson is vying for the spot of the top education position in the state. And people are waiting to see how she will best serve the interests of Oklahomans. Um, the latest percentage we've seen is 56 to 44 with Ryan Walters in the lead. So this is a super tight race. The energy kind of shifted here a little bit. Um, still, you can still feel the sense of empowerment here. We were watching the TV earlier. Gina popped up and you just heard an eruption of applause. So people are still in support for Gina, um, proudly wearing their Gina stickers and their Gina shirts. Uh, we actually heard, overheard a finalist for Teacher of the Year say, quote, she will be a voice in our classroom. She's been in the position and she knows what we need. We'll continue updating you with the results as they flood in. Guys, 